Welcome back to BR Knowledge Center. And in this session, we'll see how to install Locust into a local system on Windows operating system. So in the earlier session, as I mentioned, it is in Python based open source tool, which basically using it for testing you know, APIs on you know, scenario based or test based or spike based kind of load test. And you uh, easily get those uh, metrics onto UI web interface, which is inside of your Locust, uh, which has been implemented using you know, class uh, UI features. So uh, there are a lot of commands also having it in Locust. So if we wanted to uh, uh, showcase and you know, display all the metrics and stats and the components and so you can just switch off the web interface. And also you can set the actual user count and duration and kind of uh, time, end time and start time. So there are a lot of options we have uh, in the Locust. And we can see all this stuff once we get installed. So let me share my screen. So I'm just having in my uh, prompt here, last prompt. So I'm just checking here whether I have a, a Python being installed or not. So I, I already having a Python here of version 3.10.0. So I'm ready with Python. So now the thing is we need to install uh, Locust, so Python which was 3.10. It was much satisfied. Now, going back to here, I need to check my, uh, you know, system whether it is having the PIP or not. The PIP is one of the tool I mentioned, which we need to use it for installing a package. So this is also existed already. So the uh, version of PIP is, I think, almost satisfied. So this is also having the you now expected version in my system with Python. So now the thing is we need to check whether already locust being already installed or not. So I think I have already uh, a locust package in my local system. And I can see that there's a pip list. And if I look at here, I have a locust 2.8.3. And even I have other Jinja 2 other software itself. So I've already installed locust. So hence I don't need to install it. If it is not having, and you need to install it, pip install locust. So even you can uh, check that even uh, in this uh, portal where uh, so we used to you know navigate through here. So if you go and see here, so we can have a installation process here, pip3 or pip install locust, so that you will start installing the package into your local system. Once it is installed, you need to validate with the locust iPhone V. So as I already installed it, I'm just going to check my Locust version here, yes, Locust and V, so that it will display the version number. I'm having uh, 2.8.4. So now my installation is done. So now what we have to do is, so we need to just write a sample test program and then run through Locust. Okay. So to do this, we have, uh, uh, we need an editor, uh, like I usually use Visual Studio Core where I can write all programming languages. So for this year in Python, I'm going to use the same uh, you know, uh, editor here, that is the story of Cora. So now here, what you need to do is you need to get into that uh, specific folder or the path which you want to keep all your Python files. And then you start writing of a uh, sample, you know, uh, locust your program. So, and then run through uh, locust command. So if you go and look at here in the locust, we have a couple of comments here. Just look at this locust type and iPhone help. So there are a lot of comments uh, behind it. So if you look at here, minus of this is the uh, option we have to use it commonly to, to run uh, locust Python file. So locust minus F, and you need to mention the locust files. So this is the kind of Python model to import. Uh, Either dot file file or package directory default to locust file. So once you mention that locust your uh, locust file and file, then it will start you know executing the uh, scripts and then uh, you know uh, transform the uh, metrics to UI by default. So and the second thing was uh, minus h, which is basically using it for specifying host. So if you wanted to run some endpoints instead of any domain or URL and you don't want to give it that URL inside of your locust Python file, then you can mention that while you're running your command locust. So just specify iPhone H and just mention the host address that you're going to take from that. 
and again minus u which is uh, basically number of users you're going to you know map configure to your lot test peak number of concurrent local users primarily used together with the head lifts or auto start it can be changed during the test by keyboard inputs like ww and ss okay and next one is span this is the span rate uh, you are going to specify it here this is nothing but a rate to span user set uh, that means uh, users per second so if i say like um one second so this is going to you know assign users per second primarily use it together with the uh, headless or auto start options so if i say two seconds two seconds uh it is going to run you know users like that and coming to the minus t it is again kind of runtime it is basically using it for stopping after a specified amount of time let us say like i wanted to run my load test till 10 seconds or 20 seconds or 20 minutes or three hours or four hours you just mentioned that timing using hyper t and that is going to start your load testing after that specific interval of time only used together again with headless or auto start options okay and again minus l shows list of possible users in the classes okay and other options we have uh, these uh, you know web post and web port number headless auto start so this basically we uh, uh, frequently use that because sometimes you don't need a ui and i just want to run my load test and put all the results sets and the console itself so i don't want to go to the web interface especially in the ci cd process so i definitely use this option okay so these are a couple of options i think uh, you have to go through all these options and again statistics if you wanted to you know <clears throat> store into different format like csv or print stats or only summary or this stats or you wanted to store you know, the results in the HTML report specified path so these are the options you can use it a part of generating a report with that load test results and again logging options we have and version and use user classes if you wanted to see it see that you can use user class this is an optional specify with which user classes that should be used okay so this is something about the locust uh, command because once you install the package using pip install you will get all these options into your system the only thing was you have to use locust and minus f basically specifies the file and then you specify the load test file that file so the three requisites i to have or get into this locust load testing tool is some you know kind of um, minimal knowledge in the python so that you have idea on writing of python and uh, defining functions and creating classes and then importing the packages as part of you know getting into this locust and then run through using decorators like the decorator is nothing but putting some you know a task decorator on top of your function instead of class and then use it in the you know user uh, uh, test place class okay so once you are aware of the python a little bit then it is very easy for you to start uh, writing over script in uh, python and then run through locust okay let us see that how it is going to you know work out and how we are going to write a sample you know locust file with some sample endpoint uh, to get method and then how it is populating with the set in the web ui as well as in the console okay so i hope you understand the options of installing it this into your local system basically one thing is should you have python software inside your system then you have pip software and then once you have to, these two softwares inside of the system you just start looking at pip list where it is going to list out the packages already being installed into the system. If it does not have an instead of list this locust software package, then you need to install to pip install locust. Okay, so that is going to install your locust into your system. And it is come up with all these options. Okay, and then uh, you just start your you know, uh, writing of your lot of scripts. So let, let us see that in the next session, like how to run that and how to see that UI. And then how to you know how you then the result is transforming between you know a console to web interface. Thanks for listening to this video and please subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you.